We did, and how's that? We've got two different zebra herds all the way in Juma. Now, you guys are lucky that there are no lions around here, because last time you were in this area, one of you got eaten. So, lucky that we have all these pretty zebras looking at us, and I mean, look at, I love it when they stand next to each other and behind each other, that you cannot really tell who's who and who starts where and who finish or who ends where. I'm very curious, and luckily in a nice open space so that we can enjoy their presence, and even a little ox pecker on top of the zebra now. Seems to be quite a big herd. I think there are about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten of them around. Douglas, you're wondering if the stride pattern amongst females and males, if it's different. Well, it's different from any zebra to any other zebra. All zebras are colored differently. Or, well, maybe not colored, but striped. They all, all of their stripes are unique to them, the pattern. So when you see a specific pattern, then it's a specific individual, and then another one might have a bit of a different one. Now, it seems like we're going around in circles with the zebras. I'm not too sure what they're up to, but they are perhaps in their own way, doing their bit of exercise this morning. And they're all going and hiding behind the bushes. Well, at least we have this beautiful zebra walk. Oh, and there's a tiny youngster. Well, not so tiny anymore, but young anyway. And its spots seem to finish. They were the, its spots, its stripes seem to finish. They don't go all the way down to its tummy. And the last two. Kylie, you say that you heard that the stripes make natural air conditioning. Well, um, it's one of the theories or the ongoing theories as to why zebras have got stripes. It's believed that the, the white and the black, they create um, convections of currents of air whereby the um, the attraction of the sun and the repel and the yeah the white repels the the sunlight will create almost like many tiny currents of air in between the stripes allowing the animal to cool down however i think it's been a theory that is has been long disputed as there is no real evidence that it helps the animal cool down altogether and they also believe the gnus they've they pretty much go through the same process because they also have some of the stripes um, on the sides of their neck. So yes, it's almost like a mini air conditioning version of them. However, I think the scientific community is still a bit on the fence about that and if it really works. But, they've left us now. I think they caught up with Taylor's um, herd and these ones are also giving us a slip, so we are going to do that and then carry on as well because we don't want to be where we're not wanted.